What up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to take a first look of the season for me of the Miami Heat versus the Golden State Warriors. I know Golden State's had an up and down season so far, but Miami, always known as a very physical team. Jimmy Butler, Batman of Bio, Tyler Hero. I love Tyler Hero swag, so let's get into it. You know, as we about to jump the ball up right here, definitely want to know, like, how did Jimmy Butler have, like, the emu hairstyle and then automatically change it? He just did that just for like picture days for media day <laughs> let me know in the comments down below i'm really looking at uh jaime hockey i really liked him at ucla last year covered him a bit uh, having a good year so far Ooh, bam out of bio had to he missed that chip yeah, i think he wants that one back though because he attacks that top foot right away and then basically man that might be there all night he, he may miss this one that was a strong first move to the basket maybe uh golden state's gonna have to change up how they're gonna defend them there maybe he could take advantage of that later on Oh, what was that? What was that? I feel like Miami was giving them the uh, the opportunity to, to score right here on the dribble handoff. Tyler Hero fights over. I'm not sure what uh, Bam is looking at, but uh, he's he's locked in. He's just giving him the layup, but he must know that he throws up some bull and not to worry too much about it. But I guess that was good defense knowing your personnel. But ooh, we got to work on that, brother. Number two, we got to work on that. Bam, all right, come on, attack the post, attack that top foot, attack that top foot, uh, shake. Ooh, that look good. I think it's gonna be there all night. Look at this, the bottom foot, he's, he's, he's inviting like middle. He's inviting middle, uh-uh, nice shimmy. Over the right shoulder, that look good. like this right here from Clay. Look at this. He's open right here. Look at this. The point guard is, he knows the play is going to end up over here, but you have to see everything. You're looking over here. You're missing this wide open layup right here. Come on, but still, it's Clay Thompson. Double screen. Tyler Hero doesn't get off the ball. To contest. Simple, simple, simple. I hope Clay can uh, keep that up. Ooh, Hawkes is tough to the basket he's on the offensive fake the handoff drive left catch him oh before he there even set sneaky sneaky rookie i like it rook uh uh he wants to eat hook it I t i'm telling you that first play of the game set the tone right there it was just a, a cakewalk now he feel like he's lunch he wants to eat uh give you all that look at this uh and the foul uh-huh with the left going up to the left with the left to the left to the left bam is on the aggressive Ooh. jaime hawkins offensive rebound pulling down run down the court setting up bam oh we gonna eat again get him get, get him another oh i i i i i jaime i'm sorry jaime you was right i was gonna say get bam in the post again but uh you are playing you know what you're doing all right you saw the mismatch they switched back Throw it back out. Ooh, pull up, jump shot in the face. Steph, he, he seems so comfortable as a rookie out there playing. Like they always say big guys have it harder when they first get into the league of acclimating to the physicality and to the to the game and guards have it easy. But look at Jaime is just, this is like the perfect situation for him to go to. Oh, good spin baseline. Sometimes you got to throw them off, look middle real quick, look middle like you're setting them up, setting them up. Oh, 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 spin baseline, catch them slipping. It's got to work on that finish. You're right there. Good pocket pass, extra pass. Ooh, nice, nice. Look at this quick pocket pass by Steph right here. I didn't even see this one come. Boom, right there. Dario attacks. Look at that. I think Dario even had, Dario even had even more options. He had even more options Let's to see. Quick pocket pass, boom. He picks the ball up. I think, so he has, he definitely has CP3 right here. Could he get this pass across? He's kind of maybe throwing through a lane, so, but uh, number 32 makes himself available. I like that right there. And then boom, find him. Fumbles the the, uh, the the catch, but keeps his foot down for the lay. I like it. I like it. I like it. Ooh, Jaime Hawkes in the post looking. Oh, 
pass was close. Good pass. Good cut. Oh, that's a team that plays well together. I like it. Two plays in a row. Kind of like that. Back door. That's a good cut right there. That's a good cut. Makes uh, Chris Paul come over. And then you know, Chris P. Paul playing good defense. A little push. A little touch. Okay. Nice little backdoor cut by number eight. Always playing there. I think that was a foul, Duncan. That was a foul. But, uh, man, that was a good, that was a good possession right there. No, CP, no, we don't, don't flop. I think flopping was so 2010s, right? So 2010s. Look at this drive. He oh, that was a little, that was a little excessive. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna be honest with you. I used to do this sometimes when, if there was, if we knew we were in the bonus, and I would like try to make some sort of, some sort of extra contact just to get like an extra free throw or something like that. Look at this. So CB3 smart right here. You wanna get a, you get the ball going in, you get the rebound, right? And you know it's coming, and then you just, you know you're gonna run into him. He, he didn't flare or anything like that, but he was trying to seek those things out. You get a rebound, somebody holds your arm a little bit. You have like probably 35 seconds left to go in the, the quarter or something. You're probably in the in the in, in, in the double bonus. They're wrapping you up. You just go, <sighs> and then you get like a little bit of like a opportunistic foul right there to go to the free throw line for two shots. So I'm not mad at you. Oof. Jeez, this is dribbles out the double team, still attacks middle, fade away two people right there. Oh, uh, that is cold blooded right there. Jimmy don't even react because he's probably I see this every day in practice. Hey, it's halftime right now, so just want to let y'all know. Appreciate y'all watching the video, but please, a bunch of y'all watch the videos who are not subscribed. So we gotta get all y'all. We gotta onboard everybody here. Please like and subscribe. It lets YouTube know that you like my content and everything like that, so I can keep making it and getting it to you, the people who like to watch this stuff. Do me a favor, please like and subscribe. You know, hit that thumbs up button. You know, tell a friend. You know, phone a friend. All right, so we got to the. We're getting to the second half, but one. One thing I saw here that maybe we can talk about. So I think Udanis, Udonis Haslam is on the big pod with Shaq. And I'm gonna link the big pod, big pod with Shaq in the, in the description down below. I wanna hear what Udonis has to say. So let's hear, cause I've heard stories over the years and we talking about heat culture. All right. About 5% of the league, I get, I say maybe 10% of the league could survive in heat culture. 45 gonna bail out because they got to sacrifice and the other 45 gonna bail out because they got to do the hard shit every time. So that only lead 10% that's made for heat culture. And so when he, when you heard he was coming, I think it was like July, 2004, in your mind, before you met him or saw him, did you go, oh, Shaq could make his way into heat culture? Nah, the first thing I thought about was I got to step my game up. You know what I'm saying? He ain't coming here to, I could. Yeah, yeah, he ain't coming here to fuck around. All right, all right. So I'm gonna say this. I have a connection to the Miami Heat. One of the great centers at Georgetown, Alonzo Mourning. I uh, looked up to him. He worked for the Heat, played for the Heat. So I'd hear stories from him. And then um, I had a, a, another teammate, James Posey. He he, you know, he used to walk around with his uh, thing. He won with the Celtics. Then he won a, a, a ring with the Miami Heat. And he used to tell me, boy, like before you can even like start preseason, you if, if you're a certain center, you have to be a certain like weight. If you are a weight and like body fat. And then they had to do like, like conditioning tests like every month. It get, like use the calipers on you. Usually, like on the teams that I play with at the beginning of the season, they use the calipers and stuff to measure your body fat, your weight, and they check you at the end of the season just to see how you go. I'm sure they don't, they do it more and more often now. But the heat, they they used to do that I think like every month. And so when I hear you, Donna, say you couldn't do it, I'm hearing it from guys that played, you know, in that heat culture, and like you, that stuff goes around. Like that's one of the things that you know you're a free agent. You better think about if you wanna if you wanna go ahead and, and go there because I, I think of a I think of a player like what. His name was Dexter Pittman. He went to University of Texas, but then got drafted. And then, like, he was a big, I think it was like, well, obviously, this is a bad picture. It's probably like after, but I just remember he is like slimmed down so much when he got with the Heat. And uh, I remember I had to, he was guarding me a bit, but that stuff ain't no joke, man. Let's get back to the game. The Heat are up 180 right now. This thrashing Golden State. Golden State's in a little bit of a zone right here. Number five shoots that three. Bam, I like the fact that you are crashing the boards even though you are up 20. Like, leave it all on the court. Might as well get you that offensive rebound. Let's see how you, you get a little bit of a chicken wing push right there. I'll take it. Ooh. Nice 
Wiggins attack. Look at this. Look at this play. Because right here, this guy, I think I've seen this play before where they could either cut. That can always be there. Or he may be caught slipping, helping if he cuts hard right there. I think you know, that's a good play right there. Let me see how it let me see how it turns out. But this is the first option. And then a swing right there is the last. And then one-on-one -on -one if it doesn't go. So let's go. So pass. He gets sucked in a little bit. He drives. Takes the bump on the chest. I like it. He may have been slapped him on the face, but nice finish right there by Wiggins. Another offensive rebound. Two. Another offensive rebound. Another. Another one. Look at this. The two. Two number eight. That car and then Bam. But look at this. Bam's at the free throw line. Catches it. Little help. Two man action. Tyler Hero, what's the, when's the best time to hit open three? After offensive rebound. This is trash minutes now. The Heat won by, what, 12 points right there. It's a good game. Let's see what the, the box score is looking like. Tyler Hero at 26, seven rebounds, two assists. Ooh, at my low. Bam out of bio, a double-double. 17 and 11, four assists. Jaime at 17 and six and five. I like it. His development is great. Golden State. Didn't win this game, but look at this. 10 points, 13 points, 5 points, 10 points, 13 points, 11. This team has like a well-balanced, well-scoring team. You know, obviously they're not where they want to be, but man, I, the whole team could fill out a stat sheet. I love that. Well, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this Heat team seems to be really good. I'm really looking for Tyler Hero and Jaime Jaquez Jr. to really, you know, step up and have really good years this year. I feel like those guys are, uh, they're like X-Factors, you know, three-point shooting. But at the same time, love you guys. I want you guys to check out some more videos. I'll keep coming back for more. Please like and subscribe, and I'll check you guys on the next one, all right? No layups, hard fouls, baby.